This video includes a paid sponsorship from Joa, but more on that later. Elon was once again a guest on the Joe Rogan podcast, and in his recent appearance, he shared some new Cybertruck details, including mention of a beast mode version of the truck, details about zero to 60 mile per hour performance, weight info, which helps us determine the payload capacity of the truck and another slightly lower production volume estimate. Stick around as I discuss this and more. I'm John and this is Cleaner Watt. Based on new details that were revealed in this document, which is a Tesla VIN decoder that was shared by Electrek, it was confirmed that the Cybertruck will be offered in a dual motor standard version and a tri-motor performance version. It's very possible that the performance version of the truck will be referred to as the beast mode version instead of performance based on what Elon recently mentioned during his latest appearance on the Joe Rogan podcast when he specifically referred to the beast mode version of the truck. I'll talk about performance shortly, but first I wanna talk about the weight of the Cybertruck because Elon revealed to Joe that the Cybertruck will weigh around 7,000 pounds with some versions of the truck being closer to 6,000 pounds. But before I discuss that, I want to introduce the sponsor of today's video. This portion of today's video is sponsored by Jawa, one of the world's leading providers of quality Tesla accessories designed to enhance your Tesla driving experience. Whether you own a Model 3, Y, S, or X, Jawa has you covered with many great products, including their center console tray organizers to help keep your center console neat and clean and increase storage space. They're all weather floor liners with anti-skid backing and hook and loop fasteners for a secure fit, a wireless game controller that's designed to take your Tesla arcade gaming experience to the next level, or for example, their foldable car tray that is easy to open and fold and easily stores in a Model 3 or Y front trunk or under the seats of a Model X or Y. Find these and many other great accessories for your Tesla by going over to jawa-life forward slash cleanerwatt and make sure that you use coupon code cleanerwatt to save 5% off your purchase. I will put a link in the video description below and do note that I do earn a commission on any Jawa purchase you make using my discount code, which helps support this channel. Now, if you take these new weight estimates and you compare it to the information that was also shared in the Tesla VIN decoder document that I mentioned previously. In addition to revealing a dual motor and tri-motor version, this document also reveals that the Cybertruck will be offered in two different weight classes. The first one, which I expect to be the dual motor standard version of the truck, will have a gross vehicle weight rating between 8,001 pounds to 9,000 pounds. And the second rating, which I assume to be for the tri-motor version of the truck, will have a gross vehicle weight rating between 9,001 to 10,000 pounds. Just to be clear and to avoid confusion, when we talk about the gross vehicle weight rating of a truck, we're talking about the rating fully loaded um, based on the maximum amount of payload capacity that the manufacturer says is allowed for that truck. So if you take this gross vehicle weight rating and you subtract the payload capacity, that should give you the weight of the truck when empty. Now, originally Tesla listed the Cybertruck payload capacity at up to 3,500 pounds, but the production truck will likely have a lower payload capacity than that based on this new information. So for example, if the dual motor Cybertruck once again has a gross vehicle weight rating between 8,001 to 9,000 pounds, and the truck weighs somewhere around 6,000 pounds, obviously probably a little bit more than that, but somewhere around that, that means the payload capacity will likely be somewhere between 2,000 and 3,000 pounds. On the flip side, if the tri-motor version weighs somewhere around 7,000 pounds, once again, that payload capacity will likely be somewhere between 2,000 and 3,000 pounds, if it falls in that second heavier weight class. So while this is less than 3,500 pounds, it still is quite competitive when it comes to the rest of the trucks on the market. So if the Cybertruck payload capacity is indeed between two and 3,000 pounds, that gives it the potential to have a higher payload capacity than the Ford F-150 Lightning, the Rivian R1T, of course the Hummer EV truck, and clearly more payload capacity than the Ram TRX or the Ford F-150 Raptor. When it comes to the regular internal combustion engine F-150, the payload capacity of the F-150 trucks varies quite a bit based on your configuration, 
but it can be as low as 1,400 pounds, but it goes all the way up to 3,315 pounds at the maximum. So while a 3,500 pound payload capacity would have been great, two to 3,000 pounds is still very competitive in the market. Now going back to the estimated curb weight of the Cybertruck, yes, a truck weighing somewhere around 7,000 pounds is heavy, but when you compare it to other electric trucks on the market, like the Ford F-150 Lightning and the Rivian R1T, for example, the heaviest versions of those trucks weigh somewhere close to 7,000 pounds, with the heaviest version of the Rivian R1T weighing somewhere around 6,951 pounds. In addition to that, the Hummer EV truck weighs over 9,000 pounds, so the Cybertruck is going to be right there in line when it comes to weight with the rest of the EV competition. Yes, it will weigh more than a traditional internal combustion engine uh, F-150, for example, but it's going to be right in line with the EV competition. And once again, that payload capacity is very competitive in the market. Beyond that, let's talk about the zero to 60 mile per hour time of the Cybertruck, which is also something that Elon talked about in the Joe Rogan podcast. We know that the Performance Cybertruck will have the same basic tri-motor setup as the Plaid Model S, which can go zero to 60 miles per hour according to Tesla in under two seconds. However, the Cybertruck is over 2,000 pounds heavier than the Model S, which weighs around 4,766 pounds. And all this extra weight will make a difference when it comes to quickness, but nonetheless, it looks like the performance version of the Cybertruck or the beast mode version of the Cybertruck should be able to still go zero to 60 miles per hour in under three seconds, which is what Tesla originally promised back in 2019. During his conversation with Joe Rogan, Elon Musk did make it clear once again that the Cybertruck should be able to go zero to 60 miles per hour in under three seconds. That's extremely amazing. And it's going to be really fun to see this Cybertruck um, beating out other sports cars at the track. It's amazing what you can do with a high performance electric motor. And the Tesla Plaid tri-motor powertrain is an amazing powertrain. Now moving on, drone pilot Joe Tegmeyer recently shared this footage on X.com of the Cybertruck doing a crab walk motion, which is a feature enabled by its four wheel steering. Essentially, this allows the truck to move in a diagonal angle at lower speeds. And not only is this fun to watch and really makes a great party trick, but it's also useful in off-road situations. And this is something that the GMC Hummer EV is able to do. And it's mentioned as a feature that is great for off-roading by GMC. Now, in addition to the crab walk ability, this four-wheel steering in the Cybertruck should also make the turning radius of the truck quite impressive as well. Back in this March 28th post on X.com by Elon Musk, he referred to the Cybertruck turning radius perhaps being better than the Model Y. For comparison, the Model Y's turning radius is around 19.9 feet. So if this is indeed true and the Cybertruck beats that, this would be a much tighter turning radius than the Rivian R1T, the Ford F-150 Lightning, the Ford Raptor, or the Ram TRX. And depending on how much better it is than the Model Y, it's possible that it could even be at or better than the turning radius of the Hummer EV truck equipped with four wheel steering. When it comes to production volume, this is also something that Elon Musk spoke about in the Joe Rogan podcast. Now, previously based on this Electrek article, it appeared like Tesla planned to make around 375,000 Cybertrucks per year. However, during Tesla's Q3 2023 investors conference call, Elon Musk referred to building around a quarter million Cybertrucks per year, which is of course quite a bit less than 375,000. And now more recently on the Joe Rogan podcast, Elon mentioned an even lower production number of around 200,000 Cybertrucks per year. I don't know which number is right, 200,000 per year or 250,000 per year, but I also hope that that number goes up substantially. Um, of course, there are a lot of pre-orders for the Cybertruck. Some estimates say somewhere around 2 million Cybertruck reservations. So there should be a lot of demand. But of course, Elon Musk has been saying some things that make me believe the Cybertruck could be quite a bit more expensive than what they originally unveiled. So that could throw a wrench in the affordability, which would affect demand. And we have a little bit of a headwind with our current economy and high interest rates for auto loans. So that also could affect immediate um, demand for the Cybertruck. But nonetheless, the truck's going to be unlike any other truck on the road, and it's going to be an amazing truck. So I still believe that even if it's expensive, demand will be strong. And hopefully this leads Tesla to building way more than 200 or 250,000 a year. 
Now, of course, it's going to take some time before Tesla gets up to 200 or 250,000 Cybertrucks being built per year. And once again, during Tesla's most recent conference call, Elon Musk specifically estimated that they should be able to be fully ramped up with production of the Cybertruck sometime in 2025. So really to wrap this up, the Cybertruck delivery event will be held on November 30th, which is less than a month away. And um, we still don't know the pricing and a lot of the other specs, but it's great to see some of these numbers leaking out. Um, do let me know in the comment section below what you think about the things that I've talked about here. And um, also give your estimate for what you think the price point will be and what you think the payload capacity will be for the Cybertruck. Also, let me know in the comments section if you think that this beast mode version refers to the performance version or if there's going to be a separate decked out version that will be different than the regular performance version. Let me know what you think. I'd love to hear from you. I'd also like to say once again, thank you to Joa for sponsoring this video. And also thank you to all of those of you who support me through Patreon. Your support makes a big difference and really does help make these videos possible. If you'd like to find out more about how you can support my work through Patreon, I will put a link in the video description. Thank you so much.